A judge will allow prosecutors to call key witnesses to testify in the Drew Peterson case. The former Bolingbroke police sergeant is preparing to stand trial for the murder of his third wife, Kathleen Savio. Good evening, everybody. Defense attorneys argued the testimony should not be allowed. The judge says Kathleen Savio's divorce attorney and the pastor of Drew Peterson's fourth wife, the missing Stacy Peterson, can be called at trial. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte here with more on the day's development, Sarah. Ravi and Cheryl, the judge is allowing the testimony of both key witnesses, however, not without some requirements from prosecutors and more questioning from the judge to the divorce attorney during the trial. Judge Edward Bermilla ruled on three defense motions today, one that is considered a clear victory for Peterson's attorneys. Prosecutors see it as a big victory. Stacy Peterson's pastor will be allowed to testify at Drew Peterson's trial as long as the state can prove Reverend Neil Shorey's testimony is relevant. Peterson's attorneys were hoping to get Shorey's statements thrown out based on marital privilege. We're very pleased with the judge's ruling today with regards to the application of the husband-wife privilege. Uh, he ruled that not all actions are communicative and the ones that are not meant to be communication uh, are, can be admissible in a trial. If allowed, Shorey is expected to tell a jury that Drew Peterson's fourth and missing wife, Stacy, told him that she saw the former Bolingbroke cop return home the night his third wife, Kathleen Savio, was found dead, dressed in black and carrying a bag of women's clothing. Defense attorneys doubt prosecutors will prove that Shorey's testimony is relevant. I'm pretty confident that speculative and guesswork is not going to be allowed into evidence. And if that's the case, then we won't be hearing much of Reverend Shorey. But attorneys are likely to hear testimony from Kathleen Savio's divorce attorney. While prosecutors want to use Harry Smith as a witness to testify about how Savio told him she feared Peterson would kill her, Judge Edward Bermilla said he will first question Smith outside the presence of a jury on other conversations Savio had with her attorney before she died. There's an indication there that there's, there, there's uh, some going to be some testimony if he's compelled to testify what his client told him, that she admitted to some of the allegations that she denied later, which would affect her credibility. While the testimony from Shorey and Smith are still not determined for the trial, Judge Bermilla did rule that none of the interviews Drew Peterson did on national television before he was arrested will be allowed in the trial. People do have a First Amendment right to speak on TV, and if you're going to be using these interviews against people in the future, it's going to cause a chilling effect on their First Amendment rights. With six of the seven video prosecutors we're hoping to use, the judge will allow a written transcript of the interviews only. The judge also ruled that both sides will be able to excuse seven jurors each for cause during jury selection. Both sides will return to court the first week of July to go over more pretrial motions. And jury selection is scheduled to begin July 23rd, the following week opening statements. And everyone says this trial will start on, on time. No more delays. Yeah. All right. It's been a long time. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, we want to update you now on a uh, 